When you're a user in QuickBooks, you can go in and set up your password. So the admin sets up all the users, right? And at the time they set up the user, they also have to set up a password for that user, okay? Once the user logs in for the first time, they can go in and change their password, right? It could be a password that they put in that the admin does not know. If the admin ever needs to reset the password, they have the ability to do that, but admin only, right? So to reset our password, we go up to company and we go to change your password. Now I'm logged in as the admin right now, so I have a little bit of additional information. So I can put in my current password. I can put in my new password. And then because again, I'm an admin, I have a challenge question I can put in here and an answer, okay? Now, as an accounting professional uh, with my clients, what I like to put in here is they have one that is, what is the name of your favorite teacher? So I like to put in my favorite teacher's name is Marjorie. So that way they know that anytime they are having to put in the uh, admin password, right? Because we encourage people to set up their own users. Even if they do have the admin password, I still want them to set up their own users because several people have the admin password. And I always set up that password reset as Marjorie so that they can remember it easily because I'm their favorite teacher. <laughs> Okay, and then the password has been changed. They do recommend you to reset it every 90, 90 days, but they don't force you to reset it unless you have the setup to process credit cards inside of QuickBooks, okay? Then they'll force you to reset it every 90 days. That's how you change your password.